So your first time meditating. It is. It's a mantra-based meditation. So the mantra is what you rely on. You lean heavily on the mantra and you repeat it to yourself to the exclusion of all thoughts. Of course, thoughts come and go, and that's okay. And if you lose yourself in a thought, that's okay. Forgive yourself and gently come back to the mantra. You have found this impacts you how? We meditate because it's the greatest tool we have to promote that stillness in ourselves. This is God's consciousness, this awareness. You have a body and a mind, but you are the watcher of the body and the mind. You are not those things, you are the spirit that watches. So we're gonna first take note of the breath. And then begin to repeat to yourself the mantra, fast or slow. Again, the mantra is rum, rum, Thoughts can come and go, it's okay. Just keep coming back. So Graham, begin to breathe a little deeper. When you're ready, only if you're ready. Flick your eyes. I thought that was great. All your other senses are very heightened, the less you think about, you know, you're hearing all the noises. The more noise and, and the fluctuation in the mind, the more suffering. A quiet mind can't suffer. The present mind can't even have pain. So the less noise, the happier. The more noise, the more turbulent the mind. The yoga practice we do later will be a moving meditation. That stillness should be the present, and presence should be the place you operate from. Happiness only is in the present moment. And so meditation is the greatest tool that we have to, to help us access this kind of happiness. I mean, for me, it was hard. No, I, it, it could be, but you, you do what you can. The poles are the same, but you're different every day. So you're learning. How often do you do this? Seven days a week. How have you found it helps you? It's helpful for a number of reasons. Some yogis say you smile and breathe in difficult poses, like life. So if you just, the car horn blows after class, and you said, and they, you look at this, I just did a twisting triangle, like, <laughs> you can't pull me out of my peace. And the idea is, Moving with the breath is the way you want to live. So it's a moving prayer or a moving meditation, what we were doing. Uh, back to Jidas? What yeah, let's think? go, yeah. Okay. I want to stop on the side of the road. What I do every day uh, uh, is I eat a little bit of mango steak. I'm 66. When I was 50, I was told that I should take a pill for my prostate. I was peeing too much at night. So I didn't take the pill. And then I saw and I, this mango steam. I've been eating them, but not regularly, and I saw them online. It's a miracle drug, mango steam, miracle fruit for your prostate. So this fruit, this mango steam, shrinks your prostate. I mean, dramatically, and better than any pill. How much of a difference did you notice after you started eating? Within a week, dramatic. The skin is also very good for cancer. It's an anti-carcinogen. So people take the skin and do special, they boil it, they do stuff to fight cancer. Despite it? Yeah. Food is medicine. Uh, and natural herbs that are given to us are medicine. 
I eat like five or ten of these a day. 